We love football. Uh, we see too much football on TV, and yet when the World Cup comes along, there's an extra spring in our step. I'm really, really looking forward to the World Cup. But can I ask you this question? Can a team outside of South America go to South America and win the World Cup? It's a big ask, Adrian. Uh, South America, the climate, the razzmatazz again out there. Uh, I'm looking at a, a South American team to win it, possibly Brazil, maybe Argentina. I think they possess uh, the type of players that's required now. I think they've good crops of players, both of those nations. But if I had to maybe look at somebody outside of that, one of the top maybe European sides, I would be looking at possibly Germany. Spain, you can never discount. Belgium are doing fairly well. I would be looking at some of those European nations that could maybe cause an upset. Personally speaking, I think it's Brazil. I was at an event last week with uh, Martin O'Neill and uh, he was asked, uh, we just asked him the question, who's going to win the World Cup, you know? And he basically dismissed any of the European teams. He said it's going to be too difficult out there. And he said he hadn't analysed it too much, but he said, look, it's going to be very, very difficult for someone to go against a likes of an Argentina or a Brazil. They're exactly what you were saying. Yeah. yeah you know, so would you discount, like, England, I know you mentioned a few teams, England, no chance? No chance. No. They have as much chance, Adrian, as I have of needing a hair appointment. Mm -hmm. uh, no. I, I, I think the English game has deteriorated. I think the British game has deteriorated. I put a lot of it down to the coaching methods. I think we have lost our way. I think England, to be honest, are a poor side. Uh, I think the new chairman of the FA, Greg Dyke, has realised that. He's asked for a complete analysis of the coaching system. And then what happens when you have an English type of game and the coaches and the coaching methods, uh, methods in England, that's then very quickly adopted in Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, even the Republic. I think the Republic are an ordinary team at the minute. I think Northern Ireland are a weak side. Scotland, I can never remember Scotland having a worse team, Adrian. Wales, you know, all of those clubs, those British teams, they're poor. And I put that down to the coaching methods. I think that they, 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 they have sacrificed skill and ability for power and pace and, and I think that it's more athletic now the game but I think we have sacrificed the skill and ability and I put that down to coaching. Uh, I think we need to look. When I watch the Argentinians and the Brazilians playing you can see the flair, you can see players dropping a shoulder taking players on. That's the way football used to be played and now it's more they're like mechanical players, I think they're like robots, they have to fit into systems irrespective of the skill you possess you know, I just think that needs a complete, a complete radical rethink, the coaching system in, in British football. I think this, the, the international teams are proof of that. They're living proof of that. So I was looking at the qualifying. I think England will struggle to get out of their group. Honestly, I do. But uh, stranger things have happened. Uh, but uh, no, I can't see England being a threat whatsoever. One of the interesting bets I like, because he's had an indifferent season, so to speak, by his standards, mm. the top goal scorer of the World Cup, 16-1, to 1, Messi. I would think that's what a worth a wee bet. I, what think a bet. I, think, I think that's worth a bet now. I will have a bet definitely on that. Messi, what a finisher. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and he finishes, scores goals at a very competitive level. So he's going to meet teams in the international uh, uh, stage, possibly not as good as the defenders that he's meeting week in, week out, and where he plays. Uh, so I think that's an excellent bet. 16 to 1. Do you want a bet? Do you want to, well, I want to bet on that, I tell you, that'll have to be very fair. So you, what you're saying is that you reckon it's going to be a South American team will win the, the World Cup with Belgium uh, having a big say and England, they may as well stay at home with you and Balamone and watch it on the TV. Yeah, I think they would be as good staying at home, uh, at home in Balamone along with me. They wouldn't do, dear, and I, do, I, do, I don't want to say too much detrimental about them, but no, I think the English game is nowhere near the level we're talking about at World Cup level. And as I say, I think they will struggle to get out of their group. I'm looking for a South American one or either Brazil uh, or Argentina. An outside bet, I would look at Germany, Spain or Belgium.